What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button and you know where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow me on Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me over there too. And it's time to get this review reaction started. We are on season 23 of Mahabharat, and I'm going to tell you, we're at the tail end. We only have like five more seasons left. And thank goodness, because, well, I don't want it to ever end. I love watching it. I love everything about it, but it has been so frustrating. Because ever since, you know, I couldn't get the Hot Star app anymore here, I have been struggling to find it with, the, with English subtitles. And then when I do find it, a lot of times some of the episodes with the English subtitles are messed up. And now this season... They even cut out some of the episodes that I was not even able to watch at all. So I'm like, ah. well, I feel like, though, at least I got to watch the most important ones. I did. I did. <laughs> so where did we leave off from last time? It's when, oh, it's when Bishma was going crazy. Remember, he had, he's like, I'm going to go kill everybody. And he was just on a blood, like bloodthirsty. And now like, at the very end, you saw that Krishna was done with it. Krishna ain't having no more. He he was sitting back watching his little chariot and he was like, oh no, this is going to stop right now. He got out of that chariot and he was like, you put down your weapon, I'm going to kill you, Bishma. And he's like, come. And then Bishma's like, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. <laughs> he's like, and then, what did Krishna say? He was like, I ain't even, I don't even need a weapon to slay you. And he took that wheel off the, the, the carrot and he started spinning that big wheel and everything. I was like, oh, Bishma, you better hide. That's what I think. You better hide, Bishma. You gotta be think you think you're the toughest one here. You coming up, Lord Lord Krishna over here. And Bishma thinks he gonna kill Lord Krishna. <laughs> he was he's like, all right, yeah. You gonna come at me with your big wheel spinning? He gonna get his little arrow and, and, and shoot all these arrows out. And what's gonna happen? Krishna's gonna stop him. And he's gonna be, well, you know what? I even have a clip of this. Let's watch this together. Y'all ready to do this with me? Let's get it started. Let's Go. Okay, and that's when Bishma. Look, and those arrows stopped. Watch. Remember, he shot all those arrows and they stopped. <laughs> and then what he said? Then he's all confused. Why ain't my arrows getting to you? Look at him. Why ain't my arrows getting to you? And there's that little Krishna's thing spinning. That big old thing is gonna come at you. Mm -hmm. And then he tells him. He's like, because you don't know who you're playing with, Bhishma. He, I'm the supreme god. He's like, you don't even know who you're playing with. Bhishma should, look. Bhishma should change his attitude fast. He should change his attitude fast with that one, didn't he? He was, he was all from bloodthirsty, killing everybody, shooting arrows. And then Christian going to stop it. And he's like, why aren't my arrows reaching you, Lord, or Krishna? And that's what Chris does. He's still mad. He's like, "Cause I'm the God. You know, I'm the Supreme Lord, the God." And then he's, and this is the thing. Bishma don't even act shocked, does he? He just comes over and he's like, "Please forgive me." I was like, I would be like, "Oh no!" I would, I'd be a Lord. What? Oh, well, how? You know, I would be freaking out. Bishma just comes over. Please forgive me. I didn't recognize you in your form. I was like, "What's? What? What is going on here?" I'm telling you. I like the way Krishna schooled him. He did. He was, but Bhishma thinks he was this. I kept to my oath. I, I'm going to, everything's perfect. You know, as long as I keep to my oath, I've done everything that you can't even, you know, question my, my intentions in this. And that's when Krishna schools him. I even wrote a lot of this down because I was like, this is, this is like deep thoughts right here. When he was like, justice is life and life changes. That's when he's saying, yeah, you kept your oath. But life has changed. Like that oath ain't good anymore. When life changes, we don't need your oath anymore. We need more. We need justice in the world, not your oath. What else he said? Oh, and that's what I like that, cause he was like, "What kind?" Of, this was this is what got me. I was like, "Oh, Bishma, you in trouble?" <laughs> cause this is what got me. He was. Uh, remember, he was like, he was like, "What ha actions or decisions do you make, Bishma?" What actions you decision? You just sat around let everybody else doing the actions and stuff. Don't even stop it. I'm just sitting around being like a spectator. 
and that's your own fault. When all this, when they were doing these, when all this injustice going on, you just sitting quietly. None of the decisions was made by you. None of the actions you didn't, you didn't take. You just was a spectator, basically. When even when things were going, and injustice was happening, you're just sitting back, just letting everybody else make the decisions. I was like, tell them, Krishna, tell them. What else I wrote down? Cause I was like, these are these these hit me because you you do you think oh Bishma's this and I got mad at him through this you know I got mad at him, but he's schooling him he is schooling him and when he say the oath oh I like that because he was like I stuck to my oath he's like your oath just benefits you if you when your oath just benefits you and hurts society that means that's not a good oath you you know, you have to do things that benefit the whole of society. When your oath is destroying society, but only benefiting you, then it's null and, null and void. So, I mean, be, I mean, you. I mean, when the Lord Krishna first gonna reveal himself, to the Lord, <laughs> he ain't shocked. He's like, okay, and then he's gonna tell you all the stuff you did. How can you argue? How can you argue? You know, Bishma's just like, I'll accept my death, <laughs> right? He was just like, fine, you're right, you're right, Lord. I did all that. What else can I say? I'll accept my death. And he was gonna get him with that big wheel. That you saw that thing spinning. And that's when our June comes running. Our June comes running. No, no break. Uh, after he just schooled them about, you know, is to break your oaths for the better society. Here comes our June, which I, I, you know, I love me some our June. I love me some our June. But during this war, some of the times I'm like, our June, come on, make better decisions. <laughs> Be better, our June over there. But I mean, it was meant to be. But he came over running. No, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't, don't break your oath, Lord Krishna. I was like, what? Well, he did say, like, everybody else will get upset. Like, even though what, who's gonna, he's going to break his oath, who's going to say anything to him? He's the Lord God Supreme, you know? But everybody else will be looking differently. Like, oh, Lord Krishna broke his oath. Uh, you know? Because you know how people talk. <laughs> you know how people talk and they're going to be saying some stuff. So that's when... Even that's when they came to the thing. And I was like, yes, because you already promised this girl over here, Ambia. She emoted herself. She came back as this girl. And, and her dad didn't even want a girl. And she, she wanted a boy. But she came back because that's her thing. She wanted to kill Bishma. And then you're just going to slay him right here. And then forget about the Amber. The Ambia. Amber. How do you say her name? Amber. And that's when Christians, or Bishma's like, well, let her kill me. Because that was destined to her. I was like, fine. Oh, no, Ambi. And they, they could only, you can't have a girl in the battlefield and everything. So then that's when she went and she was like, for a day, she's going to be a man. Tell me how interesting that. For a day, she's going to be a man. Just so she can go kill the Bishma. I was like, so how's this going to happen? So they transformed everything. You see her trying to walk. Remember, she tried to mold herself again. They stopped her like, no. And they gave her this thing for me. Well, let's watch this together because I was cracking up. <laughs> because you could tell, like she, it's, you could tell it's her, her features and stuff. Right? When they unveil her. Let's look at it together, right? Go. Because look, they're unveiling her. There's her feet. I was like, oh, that looks like her. That, that looks like her right there. And everybody's staring. They're like, yeah, that's her. And then she talks. Why did that make me laugh so much? Because I was like, oh, that's her. I recognize her. She still looks like, I guess she's a man with the, she still looks like the sister and everything. And then she starts talking. I was like, what? I was like, oh, yeah, she got that man voice. She had that man voice. You know them over there on the other side, the cures. You know, they, they've they been on this all the time. They're like, we can't have her. Uh, man, you know, she's going to be one to kill Bishma, blah, blah, blah. Well, here comes old one-eyed Limpy. You know, his little Shikani, the one. And he's like, we got spies over there, and she's a man and all this stuff. So they're spying on the number one. I was like, he's always with his, with his trickery. But they, they know. They know that the Bishma's death coming. And this is where it starts getting messed up for me. I missed some episodes. Ugh. I did see like kind of Bishma, like the pan when the Pandavas came and and met Bishma before they went to back to war, right? They went, they came and they were like, they were talking to Bishma and everything and and Drapati. I feel like that's kind of like they said their goodbyes and everything there. And I saw some of the other stuff like Shakuni stabs the girl, 
or, or the girl that turned a man, <laughs> Amber, Amber, <laughs> that's what I'm, when I refer to him, I'm like this, because <laughs> that's, I shouldn't do that, <laughs> but it cracked me up with the man voice, but at least I got the, uh, the last two episodes that, I mean, when I got Laura Bishma, they got Laura Bishma, and she got the shot, shoot the first arrow, right? She got to shoot the first arrow, and then I was like, well, I thought she killed him. That one arrow don't kill him, because then everybody starts shooting arrows at him. Or June does. I was like, they all going to shoot up Bishma. Let's see if this works, because this is a longer clip, and you know how YouTube likes to block stuff. But this one, they all shoot him, and then they, I think our June takes all those, like a bunch of arrows and shoots them, and he goes flying back. All right, let's try to watch it. Let's see if it'll let me. Ready? Go. Oh yeah, here it is. Cause look, he tries to get him, and he's like, "Look, he already got some arrows in him." Oh, that's gotta be hard. That does. Look at, it. and then all the arrows come, get him, and he just—is he crying? Oh, I didn't even recognize that. He had a tear. Look how he flies back, though. I mean, tch. look at that. He just flies back. said Lord Beach might have a little tear there oh because I was gonna say I was like watching this I was not that emotional when they got the Bishma I was not because I felt like I just knew his time was coming anyway <laughs> is that bad you know and I was like you lived a long life you lived a, a really long life already you are you you part of the problem over here it's your time to go the only part I felt bad because I'm like the pandavas who have to that love you you know have to be there for you you know they, they i mean not be there for you but i mean they the ones that had to do it that's the part that tore me up and then i was shocked because you see them crying that you're expected of that right then here comes the the, the mean prince little dr you know i can't say his name right anyway i was shocked by how he reacted though because i was like the, the mean prince is really sad He's like over here crying, missing Bishma. Let's watch this together. Ready? Go. Look at him. Look at him. I was like, oh, he's like, I hurt you a lot. I was like, he's changing his ways. I'm insult you. I was like, oh, now, look, I've, I was starting to feel sorry for him. I was. I was like, he is changing his ways. You know, he's changing. He feels bad for what he did. To, to the Lord Bishma and, and everything. he And then look where it led to, to your grandsire's father's death. So I was like, he's feeling bad about it. And even before he asked, didn't he ask? He was like, oh, give me a blessing. And this work got, I was like, oh. I was like, what's Bishma gonna do with this blessing? <laughs> Let's look at, ready, go. Remember, he's like, can, bless me. Remember, he's like, bless me, grandfather. That I, oh, that's what he wanted. That I and T, that he's like, I'll get victory. And he's like, no. Remember, he's like, bless me for victory. He's like, no. I can't fulfill your wish. Why? Because he already blessed. Yudi, oh, <laughs> to be victorious. I was like, oh, what's that going to happen? And I really didn't know. I was like, how's that mean prince going to act? Because he's already in his grief over here. I mean, you could tell he's upset. He's crying with the real tears. He's all there uh, apologizing and all this. And I was like, and then he's going to tell him he already blessed Yudi. I was like, I, I was like, I don't know. Is it going to make him cry more or what? Well, of course. What's that? What does he do? I mean, that's him. He turns in an instant. Oh, you ain't going to bless me? Your, your grandfather's dying. You already was out. You're sorry. It's your fault. And then he's like, I can't bless. And then he's like, oh, you, you're going to bless Yudi? He snaps in a minute. Ready? Let's look at this. Go. Look at him. You're dying. Look at it. You're dying. And you couldn't give it up. Yeah, because you're on the deathbed, you do the right thing. Because you don't have no life left in the last moments. Look at him. Couldn't show generosity. Yeah, he did the right thing in his last moments. That's what he did. Look at him. You can tell he's a 
you have always been. Then, then he's gonna get against me. You always, there we go. I was like, oh, there it goes. There he goes with his whining. You've always been against me, grandfather. No, he hasn't. He's on your side of the war over there. How are you gonna say he's always against you? And then, and and then, he's gonna do some some evil stuff. Remember, he's like, oh look, the sun. I don't even know what that means. The sun's setting over there in this, and and that means you're going to hell, <laughs> right? That means you're going to hell. Like, oh, you you this. Look how the sun set. You know what that means. So then, after even he gets mad, he's gonna taunt him in his death. I was like, this is why you're the evil one. This is why you're the most evil of them all. They should have they should have killed you right when you're born when they had that bad omen. Remember? And they were like, that's the bad omen. Right when he's born, it's just time to kill him. And then they remember. And then didn't Bishma have? See, that's another thing. He wouldn't make a decision. Right then, Bishma should have known. This a bad omen. Kill the baby, which I was still like, oh, I can't kill baby. But after seeing this now, they're like, maybe they should have. Maybe they should have. All this maybe wouldn't have happened. And there's always been, always been like, how dare you curse grandfather before he's dead? Like, beam. I was like, he's going to kill him right there. <laughs> Let's look at this. Ready? Go. Look at that. I can still see his hand. What kind of misdeed? Remember, he's like, what kind of misdeed are you committed? How can you curse the grandfather? How can you do that? That's when, look, that's when look, Lord Krishna's like, he's like, all these things are pointless, mm -hmm. Beam. That's when he's like, Beam. He, this is what Krishna pretty much saying. He's like, Beam, come on now. I'm the Lord Supreme God up over here. I, the, Bishma already knows this. Or June done seen it, my, the universe in my mouth and all that. And on my heads and all, you know? And you really think that he's cursed just by the way the sun sets. He's like, Beam, think a little bit. You you think that's really, he's cursed just by the way the sun sets. That's not how it works, Beam. That's not how it works. And then I think, though, the cliffhanger of this, that they left it. Because that's when, you know, because you know, you know, the blind, the blind king over there is, you know, oh, stop it, oh, oh, he's always doing, oh, my son's, oh. I was like, this is your fault, too. This is your fault, too. But that's when his brother, Vidar, he done had it, right? Vidar done had it. He's like, this is your fault, and I quit. I was like, oh, Vidar done quit on <sighs> I mean, I wish I would have got to see the other. I think I missed two episodes of it. Where the Shikani stabs the girl, but it was the, you know, but at least I got to see the climaxes of this. At least I got to see. I just hope, uh, we have two, five, five more scenes left. And some of them are short, like this next one is only four, four episodes. So some of them are short. I know one's really long that I'm going to have to break up in parts, but some of these are real short. So I'm like, I can, we're at the end just let it work for me so I can finish this. Just let the rest work so I can finish it. I want to see it. Well, I hope y'all enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. And until next time, y'all.